Hey guys, one of the most common questions I get asked is, is there anything that I can do to get better at jiu-jitsu if I don't have a training partner or I can't make it to the gym? If you watched in the one, probably one of the most famous scenes in the documentary Choke, you see Hickson working out down at the beach. Hickson once told me that any great fighter has to have a balance of these four physical attributes, strength, speed, flexibility, and endurance. And that workout that he was doing down at the beach was specifically to develop those attributes, while also greatly reducing the risk of injury as he's preparing for his fight. So it was a really, really awesome scene in the movie, and the training was super specific to help him develop his jujitsu without getting injured. So these movements are also movements that we used to do every day before class as a warm-up. So we would put these movements together as a warm-up to help us not only develop the muscles and the strength that we needed to be able to perform the movements in jiu-jitsu, but also to train the muscle memory so that when we were to do these movements in training, that they would just come natural. So I've put together the 33, uh, what I feel the 33 most fundamental movements, the most important movements in jiu-jitsu into a series for you guys, just to show you guys um, create a curriculum so that you guys can have an amazing workout and to be able to train anytime you're either coming back from an injury and you don't want to get injured, trying to get back in shape, or you're at home and you don't have a training partner to train with, you can still get a great workout in and still improve your jiu-jitsu.